This is Dustin Van Coor with the Nerd Effect Podcast, and we are here at Cherry City Comic Con, and I'm joined by Jeffrey Wiseman. Ta-da! Hello, Dustin. How are you, sir? I'm here. You're here? This is fantastic. You're enjoying yourself? Yeah. I, I uh, just saw those girls that you were with. How could I not enjoy myself? That's just... Joni and Megan. We've actually Beauty. talked to Joni before in Boise, and they're fun to work with. They're really they're hilarious together. And, and eye candy. Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I love it. I just did a panel here talking about my career and uh, this Cherry City Comic Con is my first time here and, and really sweet, wonderful people. Yeah, Good Salem's time. really nice. I, the, uh, the staff here has been nothing but awesome and uh, Nicole, we've talked to her before. She's a gracious host. She invited us out here and couldn't have been sweeter. And, uh, and her husband, John, running around like a wild man with his head cut off. Yes, but, but he's on top of the world. Heart. Yeah. <laughs> And I just pitched a band I put together, hoping, hoping that he might bring it in next year. I, I was in uh, Back to the Future 2 and 3, right. and to give back to Michael's charity, I put a, a band together to help raise money at events called Mr. Fusion. And it's made of nice. all the cast members from Back to the Future. I got uh, uh, Harry Waters Jr. who played Marvin Berry in okay. the films, uh, who sang Earth Angel. He's my lead singer. Don Fullalove, who, who played Mayor Goldie Wilson on bass, and Mark McClure, who played uh, Jimmy Olsen in the S Superman films and was Dave McFly. Nice. He's playing drums. Leah Thompson's uh, possibly going to sit in with us if the price is right, you know. We've got Francis Lee McCain, who, who played uh, Lorraine's mom, wants to come in and sing Mr. Sandman. So right. if we can back up Michael on guitar for Johnny Be Good, that would be the ultimate Back to the Future band, Mr. I Fusion. Think people might just just pee themselves a little bit if that happened. Just have our, our own little enchantment under the sea dance here. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, so um, I couldn't help but notice your flex capacitor pin, yes. and it oh. makes me happy beyond belief. This is a pocket capacitor uh, for those short trips. I have to run kind of fast to get it to work. And <laughs> you just peel out at 88 miles an hour. I guess you'd have to yeah. like the flash in order. To you know, that. when I when I have to replace something that I forgot or accidentally shoplifted, I don't know, or. Uh, <laughs> Make up with a girlfriend before I screw up. You know, that's. Yeah, you know, go back in time, rephrase what you just said. That's right, here I go. <laughs> so I, I shot a film in Idaho. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you out there in, in uh, Nerdland know this, but uh, Pale Rider. I co starred in Pale Rider with Clint Eastwood, and we shot that outside of Sun Valley Ketchum. Sun Valley is a gorgeous place. Oh man, super expensive, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it was, and we were at the resort. You know, I think Clint had us a home there, mm. and uh, he of, he yeah. got them to build the set on the top of a mountain. So wherever Bruce Surtees, the cinematographer, put his camera, he had the Sawtooth, the White Cloud, or the Salmon River Mountains. Yeah, yeah. And it was just breathtaking. If you see, get to see Pale Rider on the big screen again, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you didn't see it the first time around, but uh, that was a thrill. I I love being in Idaho, and, and he cast. Oh, probably two dozen locals to be in that film. Yeah. Hey, Clint, you know, loves Idahoans. Do you say it, I, Idahoans? I, Idahoans. Idahoans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know Idaho. I don't get. I, I had this debate with myself, like, how do you know if it's Idahoans or Seattleites or Portlandians? Like, what? Oh. How do you determine what do you think? How that's done? We are all one. It's one world. We are humans. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna determine. Yeah, you determine it by asking. Just like you did. Yeah. I, I uh, you know, I w went up on a lot of nerd things. I, I went up on Revenge of the Nerds, My Science Project, all these uh, 1980s, uh, My Tutor. Weird all these science. Weird science. I was yeah. up. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't get any. Though I got the, you know, being Screech's guru on Say by the Bell, yeah. the, the high geek. Um, but I did a lot of nerd things uh, from time to time. And of course, George McFly. Hey, you, get your dad. Yeah, George, I mean, Crispin laid out a brilliant performance that I only had to pretty much mimic. Um, but because he didn't come back to do, uh, do the part, I ended up, uh, you know, playing George age 17. As you can see here, we had to recreate uh, the fight in the parking lot with Biff and kissing Lorraine on the dance floor. <laughs> and then, uh, then I got to play him uh, age 77, hanging upside down in the McFly household of 2015. Yes, yes. I admit, the second movie was actually my favorite of the bunch. Oh, thanks. Yeah. He didn't say my performance was, the, but the film was good. And I, was and awesome. I, I had a sixth <laughs> billing in it. Anyway, this is a shot from Pale Rider, you know, from the Clint Eastwood film. Very good. And I'm in the middle there. And then I also, uh, here, here's how I took a break. Uh, I had a, had a, a hang-in there on Back to the Future Part 2. It's, 
Most people have a stand-in, I had a hang-in. And all that torture was originally meant for Crispin because he was such a pain in the ass on the first film, but oh well, <laughs> I got to endure it. I was wondering endure. if we were going to call him out or not. Yeah, well, he's I've eccentric. Heard, I've heard stories. He's, I, I mean, I like him personally. I think he's a brilliant actor, but, uh, but when you cross boundaries with producers and stuff, it... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway. But, uh, and this was from Twilight Zone movie. I'm here with the big hair. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and so I'm trying to go back to my early 80s big hair I love it, origins. personally. Yeah. It and, works for yeah, you. Yeah, you want some? I can really use some. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> anyway, so there... They started going really early. But you look good, though. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I just took a... <laughs> called it good. <laughs> well, thank you for having me on your show. No, thank you very I've much for I've got a, a couple things it. happening. Um, this just started streaming on Amazon.com, a very heavy drama that I, I played the lead in called Savior of None. Okay. And uh, I play a, a, a widower with epilepsy um, who befriends a girl in the foster care system who's being ab abused, and I become her avenging angel, my character does, and it's a very heavy, heavy film. Sounds but amazing. It is good. Yeah. Ver Vernon George Wells, who was in Road Warrior, is, is in it with me, and, okay. and Petrie Bird. It's, Good, good piece. When when we premiered it, uh, the lights came up. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. So mission accomplished. Definitely, for sure. And and then streaming online is a film that you can see on YouTube called Nobody's Laughing, a short in which I play a guy who's only, only comfortable in his skin when he's made up as a clown. And it's a great story too. I'm very proud of that one. That's very apropos considering how many cosplayers are really like you know very uh, comfortable in their cosplays, but yeah. in the real world can be very isn't shy. That, isn't that wild? I, uh, there's a, a Marty. Uh, a Marty Jr. going around, no, a Marty McFly going around here, and she, I've never seen her out of that costume, and I've seen her now for a year and a half at different events, and I, know, I don't know what she really looks like. <laughs> That's interesting. She's a lovely person. But if you saw her on the street, you would never know. Probably not. Probably not even who she was. <laughs> <laughs> Until she approached you, be like, I'm Marty McFly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! That's ah! you! <laughs> Son! <laughs> anyway, Shannon, she's just amazing. And then, uh, what else? I have a, a pilot for a TV series that's making the rounds right now called The Traveler, in which I play a nefarious uh, menace and who can time travel at will. And, and I just showed a sneak peek here, and the uh, crowd loved it. And, the, and the, one of the coolest scenes is my character appears at nine different spots simultaneously beating up my old protege and stealing his girlfriend. And it was just... Trust the director. You don't know what it's going to look like until it's out, and, and it came out beautifully. That's very awesome. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Nice to meet you, Dustin. Thank you, sir. And uh, we'll actually put all the links to your Amazon shows and stuff down in the links in our, Great. In our video. And my and, IMDb. And your IMDb. Yeah, we'll link everything we can find on you. Thanks. And uh, so thank you for joining us again, and thanks, everybody. See you in the <laughs> movies. Woohoo!